My suggestion is you take a seat and get comfortable because you're about to be introduced to maybe the best BLT on the planet, Sam said with very little shame. Is BLT the most iconic three-letter acronym ever? Sam, I think it is. I mean, what, what, LOL? No, BLT wins. BRB, be right back? No, that wins. Uh, SMD, no, BLT wins. Um, What's SMD? My dick. Oh God, okay. No, it's iconic. Everybody knows what it is. And it's like the world's best. I don't know who invented it, but I would bow to them because it's the best. It's the best. So our components today will be, of course, the, the bacon. That, by the way, is... Oh, shit. I didn't mean for that to happen. I was supposed to... Hold on. I had this all perfectly lined up. Ugh. Sorry. We've got the bacon that we could just cook like this, but we won't. We've got the tomatoes that we could just slice and put in, but we won't. And some other things. Let's start with the bacon. Let's address the bacon. So here we go. Before we put this in the oven, we're gonna put something on it. And it looks like this. A bowl. That gets the following. A little maple syrup. Or as I always say, if you don't have maple syrup, use just the cheap ass pancake syrup if you've got that in the house. Because why not? You don't have, it, look, there's a moment to use expensive ingredients and, you know, hand poured, rubbed, whatever, uh, class A42 maple syrup from very special Vermont trees. It's not necessary in this case. Kids pancake syrup, Aunt Jemima, that's the thing, because we're adding to it. And what we're adding is this. A little brown sugar for a different kind of sweet. Some Dijon mustard for a little tang. And some chipotle chili powder for a little hot. And we mix. And then we paint. So like a little layer. We're gonna do both sides. So we give them a flip and then we do the other side. By the way, they already smell good and they're not even cooked yet. You see me use a rack a lot. We'll put a link, they're really great. I just love that they let things cook evenly, top and bottom without having to uh, turn them. Okay, and when you're all done, we whisk them away to the oven and we go with our next part. This next part's really fun. Uh, I said you could just add regular everyday tomato, which would be delicious, but boring. So we're gonna make, well, you've heard of fried green tomatoes? You can't always get the green ones. And the good part about the green ones is they're firmer. They're more firm. They're extra firm, whatever. But you can't always get them and it's kind of a pain in the ass. And if I go, you gotta have green tomatoes for this recipe and you can't find them, you'll be pissed off at me like that day I, followed some Martha Stewart recipe and you know, this is way back before I knew to not listen to Martha Stewart for a lot of the things that she said. Not that I don't like Martha Stewart and by the way, the unauthorized biography is pretty interesting because it shows the determination that one person can, 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 can show by themselves. Martha Stewart is successful because of Martha Stewart. Nobody gave her nothing. Just to finish, um, Martha Stewart's idea about having a, a television show doing sort of fancy lady things, how to trim roses and how to make special cakes and, and, and stuff like that. And the TV people, the producers and the executives who are often are very stupid, said that will never play with the women in the Midwest who watch a lot of TV during the day. Martha Stewart said, well, I think it will. Eventually she found herself on TV. Clearly she's been really damn successful. Whether you like her or not, you can't take anything away from the fact that she is really damn successful. And by the way, that whole stock issue thing that she had, unlike most people, she stood up and said, yeah, I did this, it wasn't right. She went to jail. I like Martha Stewart. I like Martha Stewart a lot. But so once when I was at the Today Show, when you, when you go to the Today Show, this is sorry, I'm digressing a little bit. When you go to the Today Show, 
you go the day before and you work out the steps and the moves uh, for, your, for your appearance the next day. Like the chicken's gonna go here, what kind of pan do you need? What do you wanna serve it in? Let's give the host a job, he can beat the eggs, that kind of thing. So while I'm there one Sunday for a, a Monday appearance, on the other side of the counter, uh, some of the Today Show crew are unpacking boxes of, of dishes. Martha Stewart was gonna be there that same day I was at a different time. And she brings her own dishes, of course. I use what the Today Show has, which by the way, they have everything. They could say to you, what do you want to serve that chicken sandwich on, Sam? And I would go, hmm. You know, it'd be cool if there was sort of like an 18th century Italian plate with little yellow ducks around the outside. And they go, we've got eight of them. What size do you want? Really, it's like that. It's crazy. So I'm standing there working out my stuff. And on the other side are a couple of classic uh, New York boys that are the, uh, the prop guys for the show. And they're unpacking these boxes. And one guy says to the other guy, as he's literally like taking bowls and stuff out of the box and putting them on the counter, yo, you better be freaking careful with that stuff. If you break one, she's going to kill you. That's Martha Stewart. She knows what she wants. Don't screw with her stuff. <sighs> Thank you for being with us today. I just feel like I've talked for an hour. Okay, but here's what we're going to do. We're making fried red tomatoes. The crisp of this is going to add to everything in this amazing three-letter acronym, BLT. Okay, so here are the components. The components are flour. We know about flour. Whenever we do any breading, we always start with flour. It helps the egg stick, and then the egg goes into the crispy part. So obviously, then we need eggs. So we'll put a couple eggs in here, and we'll beat them. Okay, so we've got our flour, we've got our eggs, and the crispy part in this case, cornmeal. Lovely, lovely, crispy, gorgeous cornmeal. Now we'll season the cornmeal nicely. Some salt and pepper. And I should have cut my tomatoes, but I didn't. So I'll do that now. Here we go. One big giant tomato, and I don't know if you can tell and you want it firm, because if it's ripe, it'll just turn to mush. And a serrated knife, by the way, cuts tomatoes really nicely. So I don't know what this is, a third of an inch, quarter of an inch. These will be perfect sizes. And one more. Okay, here's how this goes. So we take our slice first into the flour. Then into the egg, both sides lovingly done. Then into the cornmeal, a flip, a covering, and out and on the rack. Rinse and repeat. Hey, Alan in uh, Massachusetts, look, I'm washing my hands. Fool. Okay, next. Check the bacon. Little smoke, that's fine. But a lot of pretty damn gorgeous bacon. Man, it's perfect. Perfect? It's perfect. Let's take it out with this, come on. Do you wanna see it again? Yeah. There you go. You know one of my favorite parts? The little flecks of the chili powder that you see in there. It's fantastic. <sighs> I just want to eat a piece. F it, I will. Just a little piece. Oh. Oh. Oh my. Oh my God. Look. That was not much work. You gotta have this bite. That was not a lot of work. Oh my God. How crazy. Holy sh. Holy sh is right. Forget about just making this bacon for this sandwich. Sunday morning, boom. Saturday morning, boom. Monday morning, say screw it to work, stay home and make this bacon. Just be happy, eating bacon. Watching Wheel of Fortune or whatever the hell is on in Monday morning television. Price is right. Price is right, sorry. Okay, um, 
These guys are, are waiting to be uh, fried. My oil's heating. Let's deal with our bread. Bread's an important component in a BLT. Bacon, lettuce, tomato. Three main components and bread, that's four. Each one has to be fantastic. We're treating each one with much respect. The bacon got a huge upgrade. The tomatoes, a huge upgrade. The lettuce, well, we'll deal with that. There's not a whole lot you can do there, apart from my suggestion of which kind to use. And the bread needs to be good. Could you use like a white Wonder Bread? No offense, Wonder Bread, but that's not the bread of choice for this. The bread of choice for this is something good. This is an Italian, I don't even remember what it's called. Some delicious Italian hearty loaf with a hint of sourdough, which is amazing. Look, you hear that? That's a nice, dense, little, beautiful loaf. And if there's some craggy holes inside, which probably doesn't make sense, that's cool too. Let's cut a couple slices. And here we go. Hello, sweetheart. You're going to be perfect. I love you. We'll make them decent thickness. Look, I could use bigger, but I'm telling you the stuff that goes in this will make it higher and muy delicioso. So we'll just get this ready and getting it ready means one thing. And by the way, I think the obvious move for a um, BLT is to toast the bread. We're not gonna toast the bread, we're gonna grill it on the flat top. I'm gonna tell you now, a piece of toast with butter on it versus a piece of bread buttered and then grilled on a flat top or a nonstick pan or a cast iron pan. No comparison. This version, 100 times better. We're elevating your food game, folks. It's really what we're doing. So just to get this ready, so when we need it, we don't have to dick around. We'll just put some butter on this. Okay, set this off to the side. Let's deal with our tomatoes. This is going to be beautiful. Here we go. Lovely sizzling. And next. And last. Oh boy. This is gonna be triumphant. I just had another piece of bacon. So the other half. Oh my God. You're not allowed. This will be my new standard weekend bacon. <laughs> So the goal is to cook them until they're golden brown, then flip them over, do the same thing on the second side. And it's probably somewhere around three to four minutes a side. But you've got eyes and your oil may not be as hot as mine, so you'll know when they're ready. When the 1942 Spitfire stops flying overhead. And let's turn. Oh yes. Oh. Yes, that is what we're looking for. And continue. And they're ready, so off they come. Oh no. And I mean, oh no, in the most amazing way possible. Look at these lovelies. You know what that's gonna do to this sandwich? I mean, this BLT? Holy S. Look what's going on here. The bacon is ready. And absolutely perfect. And by the way, there used to be six slices and now there's only five because we couldn't help ourselves. The fried red tomatoes are crispy, gorgeous, perfect, and ready. Oh my God, I, oh, I can't wait. Now we just need to assemble. We'll get the bread going and we'll cook the egg. Did I mention the egg? Did I mention the egg? I don't remember if I did. We're, we're putting a fried egg on this. Because we can and because we should. Because the yolk will break and it will run and add richness and deliciousness and, and everything. So here we go. Butter first. For the egg. And on we go. Of course, a little salt and pepper. And the bread. Here and here. Let that do its thing. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. 
I'm getting excited. Okay, we can flip our egg with the gardeners in the background. And our bread. Lovely. And we're almost there. Let's set her up. And here's, here's the order. I, I make a list sometimes. So we're gonna have the bread on the bottom, then the red sauce. I'll show you what that is. The lettuce, the bacon, the tomato, the, what does that say? Oh, the egg. There's mayo, Japanese of course. And then another bread thing on top. Uh, I, who can even read that? I struggle with my own printing. That is very bad. It's very bad. I should have been a doctor, as people say, except I'm nowhere near as bright. You would not want me <laughs> as your doctor. Oh, I mean that in the nicest way possible. I'm a dum dum with stuff like that. I can cook, but I could not uh, diagnose an illness at all. Who cares? Let's build. The bottom bread. The red sauce I refer to is Western style chili sauce. And this one I particularly like because it's, it's not spicy. It's not about spice. It's about flavor. So a nice layer of that. And according to the list is lettuce. And I'm using iceberg. Why, Max? Crunch. Crunch. Yeah. Cool, crisp, crunchy, super delicious. I, I, I just love it. Next, our bacon. Look at the bacon is insane. So gorgeous. Oh boy. Sticky, delicious, a little spicy. Fantastic. A couple more pieces right here. I mean, you can't have enough bacon, can you? And how about this? What I'm going to say could be the star of the show our fried red tomato. Crispy, crunchy, delicious flavor. And then the unnecessary, but very necessary, fried egg with the runny yolk. And then our top bread that gets this, Japanese mayo. Try and figure it out with all these little crags in here. Nice. And then it sits atop. Could that be the best BLT ever? Mm, I mean, I don't want to brag, but holy sh**. It's time to take a bite. It always comes to this, doesn't it? But before I do, I need a bite of this. just want you to appreciate the beautifulness of this. The crispiness, the cornmealness, the crunchiness. Ready? Dear Lord, I'm not a religious man. I believe in something, but I think I may now believe in fried red tomatoes. Because that's one of the best things ever by itself. But when you combine it with maple bacon, the lettuce, the chili sauce, the Japanese mayo, the fried egg, come on now. Let's cut this, see what happens. Uh-oh, I see yolk. I see tremendousness. I see freaking gorgeousness. Every time I get to this point, that same little saliva gland thing starts to happen. I'm like Pavlov's dog. You know, the bell goes off, the dog, whatever. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? It's a freaking disaster to eat, but it's one of the best freaking disasters I've ever been part of. Did it need the cornmeal crusted tomato in the middle? Yes, it did. Even though there was already crispy bread on the other side, by the way, not toasted, grilled. And that chili sauce that I've now taken inside because I can't not clean up 
the maple bacon with the chill. Oh my God. That. I said in the beginning, maybe the best BLT ever. Dripping into my hand, best BLT ever. Not kidding. And people will say clickbait. Now we'll say, F you. You make this, and then you tell me it's not. With your white bread and nothing. Okay, thank you. Um, look, our goal is help you eat better, and we know you have a lot of choices on the internet. There's all kinds of food you can watch out there. Some great, some okay, some amazing. But you choose to spend your time with us this little short period of time. And it means a lot. We really appreciate it. Thank you for being there. Thank you for hanging out. But really, I will thank you if you make food instead of buying it from fast food or microwave or delivery. Not that those are bad. But cut back on that. Cook more at home. That's all we're asking. All right? Now go away because i got to eat this. Oh, shit.